After testing four inch propellers on 1404 motors, I began testing them on more powerful 1408 motors. While I was testing the gem fan floppy proppy propellers, they exploded. Recursion Labs. For science. The first floppy proppy test I did was on the three blade variant using my automated testing methodology. When I returned to the thrust stand, I discovered the propeller was broken and had ripped off my custom 3D printed motor mount. Luckily, the detached motor danced around and broke one of the motor wires at the solder joint. I did notice one of the propellers had ended up across the room, but I wasn't sure if the failure occurred before or after the mount had broken. I designed and printed a thicker motor mount to increase strength and started a new test, this time with a three blade floppy proppy. During a test near 85% throttle, I heard horrible vibrations and the motor vibrated so violently it quickly unscrewed the back nuts causing the motor to once again shoot off, this time tearing a winding. The mount didn't fail this time, so not a complete failure? Looking at the damage, at high speed the little nipple holding the propeller snapped off under stress. You can see on one prong that a piece is still inside the propeller hole. This is the same for the three blade propeller as well. Since the test is run every 2% of throttle, I was able to look at the data captured to determine where the failure occurred. The last successful cycle was at 85.5%. 5% throttle. The data captured shows that the propeller was spinning around 39,000 RPM and the total thrust being produced was 588 grams. The next test cycle was for 86% throttle, where just before 300 milliseconds of bursting from idle, the propeller broke. This was just over 39,000 RPM and the thrust sensor hadn't updated yet to capture the actual thrust data. I replaced the motor with a new one and couldn't resist seeing if I could make another two blade propeller fail again, this time on camera. For science. Here I am running a manual set point sequence where we'll burst the motor where I choose for half a second, incrementing for each test. Here is a test at 90% throttle. As you can see, the failure occurred once again, but this time at a slightly higher 41,200 RPM. What's interesting is the failure point was in a different spot, where you can see the top hub cracked, allowing the propeller to slide out, which itself was undamaged. So I guess this is a public service announcement to be careful when choosing and using these propellers. While foldable propellers are neat, this demonstrates that they are fragile and can only take so much stress before breaking. In the test we did with 1404 motors, the maximum RPM reached was 35,000 RPM, and they performed fairly well, so perhaps it will be fine on them, especially if you use a lower KV motor found on some long range aircraft. That said, I wouldn't expect them to be able to hit anything without braking, and I'm not sure I would trust flying them over water or volcanic lava. That's all for now. I'll finish the 1408 testing, but these will no longer be included for obvious reasons.